Wednesday night, the Kanawha County Commission hosted a public hearing on redistricting. A crowd of over 100 came out to make their voices heard on redistricting in the county. My primary purpose here tonight is to receive public input on the issue of redistricting. The Senate has already had their public hearing in Kanawha County, and uh, this meeting is primarily uh, about the House. Uh, frankly, uh, with all due respect to the House, I was surprised when the House chose not to have formal uh, public hearings. We discussed it with uh, Vera and some other folks and many of our delegates, and they agreed it would be a good idea here in this county we have a formal public hearing and we receive your input. We've got folks <coughs> under the guidance of uh, their reforming to actually take uh, pretty good notes and uh, do that. The topic of the night focused on whether to create single-member House of Delegates districts. Canal County's 30th House District has seven delegates, the largest number of delegates in one district in the state. The majority of the crowd, including many Republicans, expressed their support for single-member districts. I feel that it's very, very important for a single-member district because I think that the people in the Upper Canal Valley deserve to have a representative in that area who knows their challenges, their concerns, because I do not feel that the folks living in South Hills, Charleston, South Charleston, know what it's like to live in these rural areas. Across the state, we have 36 well-functioning single-member districts. The other 20, in fact, are the minority. It's unfair to the other 55 districts that Kenaw County, or that the 30th, has seven votes in the House of Delegates, and they don't. It's wrong that the 31st district only gets one vote, but the 30th district is three, seven, and the 32nd has three. Should the 31st district be reabsorbed? No, it shouldn't. It was created to give a population who felt they were not fairly represented a voice. Amen. Despite the large show of support for single-member districts, several attendees spoke in favor of the current multi-member district format. Without a doubt, it is more beneficial for me to have multiple delegates to approach to ask for funding for support for important projects. In my position, I have the opportunity to meet people who support some of the projects which I am involved. To have only one delegate to approach would decrease my chances of finding support for different projects that I'm involved with. Single member districts are probably more appropriate for rural areas with low population density and relatively few employers or commuters, places where most people live and work and spend most of their time in the same legislative district. Um, Charles, the Charleston metropolitan area, which is home to more than 300,000 people with a variety of industries and interests, would be difficult to represent effectively if it was broken up into large, into a large number of single, of small, small single member districts. This is Stephen Allen Adams for West Virginia Watchdog.